The medium is the message, looking absolutely like some straight-jacketed characters. It are absolutely the hottest type of medium you could imagine. Everything that the scripters and the rangers had done was hot stuff. They had no idea of what the TV medium is made of. And uh, that's why uh, uh, a lot of advertising on TV is it's too hot, too special, too fragile. It doesn't have that ritualistic flow. But the, uh, this, this, the advertisers are aware of this and they're doing a lot to prevent that. But I think that was really the great secret of a thing like the Olympics, that people had the feeling of participating as a group in a great, meaningful ritual. And uh, it didn't much matter who won. That was the point. But I think TV tends to foster uh, that type of uh, pattern in events. Or well, you might say it tends to foster patterns rather than events. By bringing war immediately into our living room, it has become unbearable and tolerable. So that uh, coverage has actually taken the place of war itself. The coverage is now bigger than the war. So there can never be an acceptable war again. That's true. Except that's one thing. But the coverage of the war is so colossal that the war has become unbearable. I have been out for what is a McLuhanism by uh, people in time to time. a sign hanging on a Toronto junkyard which reads, help beautify junkyards, throw something lovely away to there. And uh, this kind of desire uh, would be cynical and uh, paradoxical this sort of remark has, I think, some of the characteristics of influence, which consists perhaps simply in trying uh, in uh, unexpected uh, circuit uh, things that uh, don't ordinarily get off a simple single line or simple plane it, it's a it's a form of circuit